Right, welcome everybody to today's Tuesday Hit Club. And as you can see, I'm not obviously in my own living room this week and neither is Jamie here. Um, we have a special guest with us today, as you might well know from uh, what it says in the calendar. Double European champion, Commonwealth medalist, um, British record holder. We like to call her the superhero in goggles. Um, also an Olympian, we've got Lizzie Simmons with us today. How are you, Lizzie? I'm very well, thank you, Jenny. How are you? Oh, I am perfect. All the all the better for seeing you and uh, knowing that I don't have to do hit club today and you can take over and take everyone through um, an amazing workout. So um, without further ado, feel free to just grab yourself some water. I'd recommend you either doing it barefoot or in shoes. Um, a little bit of space. Lizzie's got a mat. You don't have to have a mat. It's completely up to you. Um, but Lizzie's going to take you through a hit session today. And there'll also be a little bit of a chance at the end of today's session as well. We'll just hang around with Lizzie for five minutes for a little bit of a Q&A. So if you have any um, swimming or exercise related questions that you'd like to ask Lizzie, feel free to hang on for five at the end um, and ask any questions in the Q&A as well. I'll be here in the background as Lizzie takes you through today's workout. So if you do have any questions on the exercises as well, um, feel free to pop those in the chat and I'll answer them for you. But hopefully, um, I'm sure we've done this with Lizzie many times before she'll explain everything very thoroughly so without further ado I'll pass you over to our superhero Lizzie Simmons. I love that superhero and goggles. There you go. Um, hi everybody I hope you're all healthy and well today as Johnny mentioned my background is in elite sport I had a long career competing at an international level in the sport of swimming including being lucky enough to go to two Olympic Games the London Olympics in particular were an incredibly special experience. I'm sure you guys can imagine walking out to that home crowd and the noise and the atmosphere. Absolutely insane, something I will never forget. I retired from competing a couple of years ago, now get to work with Vitality as a performance champion. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a little hip workout. It's a full body workout suitable for all abilities. It's gonna be hard work, but it's gonna be a lot of fun as well. Um, so let's get started. Let's kick off with our warm up. So we're just going to um, find yourself a little bit of space, stand with feet about hip width apart, and we're just going to start by rolling our shoulders backwards. I was a backstroker, so this was one of the ways that I would use to start my poolside warm up before training sessions and competitions. Just getting a little bit of movement into our shoulders and backs, particularly if you're anything like me, if you've been sitting at a desk all morning. So just a few more little shoulder rotations backwards and then we're going to go for a slight bend at the knee about a quarter squat and we're just going to rotate side to side, get a bit of movement through our backs. Nice and steady, just warming up at this stage. Keeping that core nice and tight, engaging that for the session ahead. Okay, so we're now just going to start marching on the spot a little bit. So knees up nice and high, marching on the spot. And we're going to start to bring the arms up and down by our sides. So keep going, knees nice and high, bring the knees a little bit higher, bring the arms up and down a little bit faster. No comments from you, Johnny, on the length of my arms. Thank you very much. <laughs> Classic comment. Okay, so we're going to stand at the end of our mat or the edge of your space, and we're just going to go down into a walkout. So hands down to the ground, walking out and into a downward dog position. And then we're going to bring the hips through into a press up or a plank position. Hold for a few seconds, core nice and tight. Back up into our downward dog position. Stretching through the back of the legs, head hanging between our shoulders. And then walk those hands slowly back in and roll back up to standing. And we're going to do that one more time, rolling down, walking those hands out into that downward dog position. Stretch through the back of the legs, head hanging down between our shoulders. into a plank position for a few seconds hold, keeping that core nice and tight, bums down, head in line, back into downward dog, and then walking back up, roll back up into standing. 
And one more time, we're going to walk all the way out into our plank position this time. And this time we are going to put one knee um, out in front. So we're in a deep lunge position. And we're just going to do a couple of rotations side to side. Try and keep your balance, getting a bit of rotation through our back. Okay, good stuff, guys. Put that foot back and switch over to the other side, and exactly the same on the other side. Getting a bit of rotation through our spine, nice and steady. Okay, foot back to the to back to plank position, walking back up for the final time. Roll back up into standing. Okay. So edge of our mats, we are now gonna do some pogo jumps side to side. So we're just gonna have our hands on our hips and we're just gonna do some little jumps side to side, backwards and forwards along our mat. And you can go as high as you like with this, nice and light on the toes. We're just getting nice and warmed up for the main part of our session. Okay, one more time. And back, keep getting stuck behind the Christmas tree. Okay, good stuff. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do in our warm up, we're gonna do a squat, reach down, and then reach up to the following corner. So reach down to one foot, reach up to the following side. Reach down to one foot, reach up to the following side. So we're gonna do six on this leg, and we're gonna switch over. Reach down to our left leg, and up to the other side. Two more. Last one, and then switch sides. So reach down to our right foot, reach up to the left hand side, down to our right foot, up to the left hand side. So there's a little bit of coordination. And the same six on this side as well. Final couple. Of course, warming up our legs, but also our core muscles too. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is a lat pull down with reverse lunge. So we're going to be in this position. We're going to go up into streamline, my favourite position as a swimmer. We're going to bend over slightly and all we're going to do is go back with one leg and bring our arms down to our side and then back up to standing. Back with one leg and we're just going to alternate between those two legs. So we're engaging our lat muscles here, switching those on for the session ahead and of course getting a little bit of movement in our legs as well, engaging those core muscles as we go. Okay, a few more of these. You can, of course, speed them up for the last few if you like. Okay, final one then for our warm up. We're going to do some squats with some arm swings. So we're just going to squat down and then reach up. To, onto our tiptoes. So down, up onto our tiptoes. I can't go too high because my long arms touch the ceiling. If you can go a little bit higher than me, even if you want to leave the ground, you can on these. This is the final part of our warm up, final opportunity to get really warm before we go into the main part of the session. Okay, three more. Okay, good stuff. Grab a drink, guys. We will take a very short break before we go into the main part of the session today. Okay, so this session today is going to be a little bit of a building session. So we've got seven rounds, which sounds like a lot. Don't worry. The first round, we are only doing one exercise. So round number one, just doing one exercise. Round number two, we're going to do that same exercise and then tag another one along with it. Ex round number three, we're going to do the first two and tag another one along and hopefully you can see where this is going. We're only going to have rest in between the rounds. So it's going to seem like a lot of rest at the beginning and then by the end, we're going to do all seven exercises with no rest. Just follow my lead. I will take you through all of it. Don't worry at all. Okay, so our first exercise that we are going to this is going to be the first exercise of all of the rounds. It's just going to be a switches. So we're just going to be like this for 30 seconds, switching between our feet, nice and light on our toes, keeping our cores engaged. So we're going to kick off with round number one. 
in 10 seconds, just 30 seconds of work, and then we'll pause, and that is round number one complete. Okay, five seconds, and we're going with our switches. In two, in one, and go. Nice and light on those toes. Try and get as much height as you can, but this is just round number one. Okay, halfway through, guys. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Keep it going. Round number one, almost done. Two, one, and stop. Okay, round one, complete. Well done. So, round number two, we're going to start with that exact same exercise. And we are going to build in a walking burpee. So our walking burpee is going to look like this. So we're just going to move both legs back into plank, bring them back in, squat position, and reach up. No leaving the ground on this one. It's just a walking burpee. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds on round number two, starting with our switches. Okay, two, one, off we go. Nice and light on those toes. Keep it going. That's halfway. Remember, we're going straight into our walking burpees straight after this. No rest. Okay, five, three, two, one. Okay, so starting in this position, we're going to walk both feet back into plank. Bring them back in squat position and reach up. Same again, just keep repeating that movement. Nice and steady, we've got lots of these to do. Really good core strength, no thumbs up in the air, we're not doing this. We're in a plank position, bringing those legs in. Squat and reach up. Okay, five seconds to go. Last one, great stuff guys. Round number two, complete, rest there, great stuff everybody. Okay, round number three then, we're doing both of those two exercises again. We are going to add a lateral lunge and reach up. Sounds complicated, it's not. We're going to lunge out to one side and reach up to the other, a little bit like we did in the warm up. Down to one side and reach up and we'll swap sides halfway through. We're going in five seconds, switches. Two, one, and off we go. Great stuff everyone, nice and light on those toes. Okay, that's halfway, we're going into our burpees next. 10 seconds to go. Great stuff, keep it going everyone, five seconds. Two, one, and into our burpees. Out into plank position, bringing those legs in, reach up. Squeezing those glutes together when we reach up. Alternate with which legs go backwards and forwards. Keeping those bums down. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Great stuff, everyone. With our lateral lunges next. Last one. Three, two, one. Okay, going into our lateral lunges. Lunge out to one side, reach down and up to the other side. Down and up to the other side, down, and up to the other side, 15 seconds, and up to the other side, great stuff, and let's switch sides, down to this side, and up to the other side, down to our right, and up to the other side, and up to the other side, okay, last couple, three, two, one, and stop there, round three is complete, Round number four, the one that we are going to add in is an elbow, elbow squat. Okay, that's our move. One, two, three. That's the move that we're adding in for round number four. But we're starting, of course, with our switches. In five seconds, four, three, two, one. Keep it going, everyone. Starting with our switches. Great stuff, everybody. Lights on those toes. Okay, keep it going. That's 10 seconds to go. Nice 
Great stuff, everyone. Keep it going. Heart rate should be up now. Okay. And rest there. So, into our burpees. Straight in. Back to plank. And reach up. Back to plank. And reach up. As steady or as fast as you like with this movement, but keep great form. Into our lateral lunges after this. 10 seconds to go. Okay, great stuff. Two, one, and into our lateral lunges. So starting together, lunge down to one side and reach up. Down to one side and reach up. Down to one side and reach up. You control how low you go. You don't have to go down to the ground if you prefer to just go to your knee. And let's swap sides. Okay, remember we're adding in our new exercise here. We've got our elbow to knee and our, squat, and our little squat. Okay, great stuff. Two, one. Okay, we're going one, two, and squat. One, two, and squat. One, two, and squat. You control how far you go on this. Go a bit lower if you're not feeling enough challenge. Stay with a quarter squat if you're feeling enough. Ten seconds to go. Engage those core muscles when we're rotating. Okay, great stuff, everyone. This is round four, almost over. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to pause there. I'm going to grab a quick drink. Okay, great stuff, everybody. So the exercise we are going to add in for number five, for round number five, is a sit-up with a jab to each side. Sit-up, jab to each side. Sit up, jab to each side. Okay, it's a fun one. All right, we're going with our switches in five, three, two, one, and into our switches. This is round five. We're smashing through this. Nice and light on those toes. Burpees next. Okay, great stuff. That's halfway. Keep it going. Okay, five, three, two, one, and into our burpees. Keeping those glutes engaged when we stand up. Lateral lunges after this. Great stuff, everybody. Should be feeling the burn a little bit now. Should be feeling those heart rates up. Okay, great stuff. Ten more seconds. Keep it going. And five, two, one, and into our lateral lunges. Down to one side, reach up to the other. Down to one side, reach up to the other. Just 15 seconds on each leg. Control how low you go. Two, one, and go in the other way. Okay. Five more seconds, keep it going with our lateral lunges. Two, one, and we're going with our elbow to knee cross. And squat, elbow, elbow, and squat, elbow, elbow, and squat, elbow, elbow, and squat. Keep it going. You control how much you challenge yourself. Gauge those core muscles. We'll be feeling this tomorrow. Okay, last five, two, one, and we're going to go into our sit-up, jab and cross. So, boom, boom, and back down. Keep going as fast as you want to make it. Rotating side to side. Again, we're using those obliques. Round five, nearly done. Okay, ten seconds to go, everyone. Three, two, one, and rest there. Great stuff. We are smashing through this. That is just two rounds to go, but they are the big rounds. So the one we're going to add in this time is we're going to go with a pop squat. So we're going to pause in this position and we're going to jump up to that. Pause, jump up to that. Pause, jump up to that. 
legs in and out as if we were doing jumping jacks. Okay, we're going with our switches. Round number six in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Getting that heart rate up straight away. This is round number six. Keep it going. Okay, great stuff, that's halfway. Into our burpees next. Okay, five, three, two, one. Into our burpees, walking it out, bringing it in. Great position on this one. It's not as explosive, so we need to have great core strength. Keeping those bums down, squeezing those glutes when we come up to standing. Great stuff, into our lateral lunges after this. 10 seconds to go. Keep going guys, we're smashing this. Okay, five, three, two, one. And into our lateral lunges. Down to one side, reach up to the other. Down to one side, reach up to the other. Just 15 seconds each side, remember, and reach up to the other. Keep it going. And switch over to our other side. Control how low you take this one. Oh, smashing through round six. Keep it going, guys. Okay, three, two, one. How are we going with our elbow? Elbow, squat. Elbow, elbow, squat. If you want to challenge yourself, speed this up a little bit. You control how deep you go on that squat. Keeping a great back position, no bones sticking out too far. Backs up and chest up nice and high. Okay, last 10 seconds. Okay, we're going into our sit-ups in two, one, down onto the ground. And we're going with our cross, side to side, rotating and punching. Rotating and punching. Keep it going, we're almost there with round six. Okay. Engaging those tummy muscles. 10 seconds, keep it going. You're doing great. And two, one. And we're gonna go into our pop spot. This is a tough one. Okay, we're pausing in this position and we're jumping up to the middle. Pause and jump up to the middle. Pause and jump up to the middle. Our legs are doing what they would be doing if we're doing jumping jacks. Again, you control how deep you go. Keep it going, five more seconds. Three, two, one, give me one more. Yes, okay. Round six, smash. One more round. The one that we are gonna add for this round is a side to side burpee. So, trying to kick anything. We're gonna go burpee, we're gonna jump this time. We're gonna jump over to the other side of our mat. And the same, but we're just gonna keep on going from side to side with our burpees. Okay, round number seven. I'm gonna give us an extra 20 seconds rest because I need it. And then we're gonna smash this. Okay, we are gonna go in 15 seconds. Grab a drink if you need one. Okay, guys, this is the big one. This is all seven exercises in a row, starting with our switches. Two, one, let's do this. Okay. Exercise number one, start off nice and steady. Get as much height as you can, nice and light on those toes. Okay, it's halfway. Okay, five, three, two, one. Straight into our walking burpees. And squeeze those glutes to stand up. You're doing amazing, keep doing it, keep going. This is round number seven, we are done after this. Keep working it, keep good at those good body positions. Okay, that's halfway. Keep it going, we're going to try lateral lunges after this. Great job, everybody. Okay, five, three, two, one, into our lateral lunges. 
So down to one side, reach up to the other. 15 seconds on each. Okay, five, three, two, one hand into the other side. This is a challenging one, this always gets my hamstrings. Keep it going. We are so close, we are almost there. Into our knee to elbow squat. In four, three, two, one. Straight in everybody, one, two, three. One, two, three. Speed it up if you need more challenge. Control how low you go. Okay, great job everybody, keep it going. Keep those good back positions, keep that chest up nice and high. Five more seconds. I'm going into our sit-up jabs. Okay, two, one. Down onto our mats, into our sit-up jab. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Keep it going, 30 seconds of this. And then keep working. Getting those core muscles, getting those obliques. We're into our pot squats afterwards, they're a tough one. Okay, keep it going everyone. 10 more seconds. Two, one, and stop there. Ready for our pot squat straight in, okay. So we're down here and up, down and up, down and up. You control how low you go. Okay, 20 seconds. Keep it going, you should be feeling the burn. 10 seconds. Keep going everyone, we're so close. Three, two, one, and stop there into our burpees, final one. Okay, so we do a burpee, and we jump across, keep going with me, and jump across, keep going. 30 seconds of these. You can sidestep if you don't want to jump. Just keep it going everybody. 15 more seconds. And keep going, side step to the other side. Five, four, three, let's do two more. One, one more, yes. And rest, and pause there. Take a breather, have a drink. We are done for the session. Fantastic, we will do a little cool down in a minute, but I need to get my breath back first. Awesome, Lizzie. Absolutely smashed it. Well done. I hope everyone enjoyed enjoyed that just while Lizzie recovers for a second before she leads the cool down. Um, if you do have any questions that you'd like to ask Lizzie, whether it be about exercise or swimming or nutrition or anything um, in terms of health and fitness, feel free to get those in now and I'll pitch those across to Lizzie once she's finished um, the cool down and we'll have a bit of a Q&A. Over back to you, Lizzie. Thanks, John. Okay, so our cool down, we're going to keep this super steady. We're going to have our legs nice and wide. We're going to roll down into a hamstring stretch. Like I said, some of those exercises were really getting my hamstrings. Just move your arms left to right. So you feel a bit of variation with that stretch. Just go as far as you can go. I've got a lot of mobility. You don't have to go down as far as me. Whatever feel, feels comfortable for you. You can hang in the middle if you'd like. I'm going to roll it back up and we're going to do just one more of those. Roll it back down, hang in the middle, arms side to side for a little bit of variation. That's the middle and let's roll it back up. Okay, we're just going to go into a hip flexor stretch now. So, down on one knee, one leg in front and we're just going to lean forward into that front. Front hip, so we get a bit of a stretch down that front hip. Pushing through this hip. Arm up if you want a bit of extra stretch. If you want a real challenge with your stretch, you can bring up that back knee and get a quad stretch too. Again, whatever feels comfortable for you. And we're gonna switch sides, so go with the other one. Leaning forwards until you feel that stretch. Arm up for a bit of extra if you want to. And bringing that back leg up if you can. Uh, 
Okay, great stuff. So we're just going to go down onto our backs on the mat and we're going to go into a figure of four stretch. So one ankle onto our knee, knee out wide, and we're going to reach through and pull this leg in. Relax the rest of you down onto the mat. No tension in those necks or backs. And we're trying to keep that other knee pushed away from us a little bit. So we feel the stretch through this left um, glute. Again, just go as far as you can. And shake them off and switch over to the other side, reaching through, pulling that knee in. So we get a nice stretch down that glute. Okay, great stuff then. Final one onto our backs. And we are just going to slowly go across with one of our legs. You might get a little bit of a crunch in your back like I just did there. Just until it feels good for you, try and keep this shoulder down on the ground. You can put one hand onto your hip and pull it across if you want a little bit of extra stretch. You should be feeling some nice stretch in our lower back here. And back to centre. And same with the other side. You might notice one side's a little bit tighter than the other, might need a little bit more work. Keeping the shoulder down on the ground if we can. Okay, great stuff, guys. Okay, so slowly bring it back up to standing then. We're going to have very quick to shake off of our arms and our legs. It's a great workout today. I've definitely got my heart rate up. I'm only just getting my breath back now. John, I will hand back to you. Have you got any questions? Awesome work, Lizzie. That was great. Everyone um, was saying how much they enjoyed it. So thank you for um, running our session today. Um, but yeah, any more questions, feel free to get them in. Any questions to, to fire over to Lizzie, let us know. But um, we've had one that's kind of said, um, how have you managed over lockdown and kind of 2020 without the ability to be able to go to the, to the swimming pool and enjoy a swim? How, how have you managed it? Yeah, it's been a really good question for me. I, like everybody, was quite frustrated when lockdown happened. All the pools closed, wasn't allowed to go for a swim. Um, I then set myself the challenge of how can I do some activity every single day, even if I can't go to the pool. So for me, that became really creative of how can I still get out for walks, bike rides, go mountain biking, or doing workouts like this in my living room, connecting with other people through screens. And actually, it's been a really nice year for me because I probably push myself in some you know, different activities and different sports that I perhaps wouldn't have done previously. I'm lucky that I'm not competing anymore, so it wasn't too much of a big deal to not be able to go to the pool and train, but it was still an exciting challenge to be able to do some other activities. Okay, cool, nice. So just kind of getting out and doing as much as you can. And have you, did you do many sort of hit sessions like we did today during lockdown? Yeah, I've done, I've done a few of them. I, like everybody, probably went through a few phases of them um, where I was doing lots. I was working with lots of swim clubs early on in lockdown. Obviously, all the swim clubs and the young swimmers were stuck at home too. So I was actually leading workouts like that for lots of the swim clubs who were stuck at home as well. Um, so that was really fun. Um, then I had a bit of a break over the summer when the weather was really nice and I wanted to be outside a little bit more. And now I'm building them back in because, as you'll know, it's a bit grey and miserable and the, the evenings are much darker. Um, so actually, it's quite um, it's quite appealing to do a session in your living room in the warm. Nice, definitely. And when you've got a load of people watching and you're running the session, it means you've got to put the effort in, right? <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, what mountain bike do you, <laughs> do you ride? What mountain bike? I've got a... Uh, a uh, white T130, which will mean nothing to you if you don't know anything about mountain bikes. But there you go. For the mountain bike fan, um, there you go. <laughs> nice. There you go. There are other brands available. But there, 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 there you go. Um, what um, what goals do you have for 2021 is another question. That's a really good question. So much has changed this year and lots of the goalposts for me in my, you know, my personal life and my working life started to shift with all, all the lockdowns and restrictions. So for me in 2021, I just want to keep connecting into to who I am and to my values and to being the person that I want to be each day, rather than spending too much time getting caught up on those outcomes and results. So 
I just want to, you know, go into every day, trying to give it my all, give it my best. Um, and then I can be happy with whatever 2021 brings. I'm sure there will continue to be change. And actually, you know, I'm really excited about embracing that. So, um, yeah, no real specific goals for 21, just being the best that I can be every day. Nice. Good work. And then we've had another question here. So, um, everyone's saying that was fab. So, so good work on the great session. Um, someone said, if you only have a 10 minute break, can hit still work if you do it once a day, for example, um, or, or do you have to kind of have sort of 20 minutes for it to have any benefit? I think it can work. I think you just be, need to be really careful to make sure that you're hopefully warmed up before you go into that. We don't want any injuries going into something super hard. But I think as much as you can get into, I think it's better doing 10 minutes than doing nothing. Um, and I think you can still get a great workout. I don't know about you, but that main part of that session today was 14 minutes long. That was it. So we didn't do much more than 10 minutes in that session there. And I've got a bit of a sweat on. My heart rate was definitely up. So you definitely can get some impact from doing short sessions. For sure. No, good advice. Good advice. Anything's anything's better than nothing. If you're not doing yeah. anything now, 10 minutes is going to have a world of benefit, right? Yeah. Cool. And then... Um, one final question don't think we've had any more through so yeah last chance to to ask you questions but everyone's saying thank you um what did your training look like so in the sort of peak of your career i guess you know leading up to the olympics what does what does, did a week look like for for lizzie simmons the uh, superhero in goggles yeah it's a tough one i mean we were doing uh, we did about 10 sessions a week in in the pool so wow. we were in twice most days um, we were doing um, two, two and a half hour training sessions in the water, about 60 kilometers per week in the water. That's 2,400 lengths um, per week, you know, week in, week out. And of course, there was lots of gym work, weights, Pilates on top of that as well. So we we're spending about five or six hours training a day. Uh, we, we had Sundays off and we had half days on Wednesdays and Saturdays. But that was pretty much it for most of the weeks of the year. As you got nearer to the major games, you would start to taper that off a little bit, bring down the volume, bring down the intensity to, to rest up for that major competition. But a lot of metres, I worked out that I, I'd swum 2.2 million metres every year for 15 years. Oh, wow. I'm not sure whether to be horrified by that or not. <laughs> but uh yeah it's a lot a lot of swimming a lot of hard work that's crazy that's more than most people walk or go yeah. anywhere in a oh. year i think <laughs> <laughs> and you must have eaten a lot to kind of um yeah. make up for that right yeah definitely we had a you know we we're just trying to fuel all the time obviously try and get the right the right stuff in lots of fruits lots of veggies lots of carbohydrates lots of proteins for recovery um and and just trying to match your training loads and, and make sure that you're recovering and fueling your body right so yeah nutrition is a a huge part of it you do have to do lots of experimenting as an athlete to get that right for you find the stuff that really works for you and you love eating and drinking definitely nice well good work lizzie thanks so much for that having lo loads of nice comments coming in saying thank you so much and thank you for representing us at the olympics as well and, and comments like that so so awesome work thank you so much for um i say being our guest you kind of run the session today but thanks so much for coming in and uh, running the session we do have another hit session next week so it's a final one before christmas which is going to be the sort of big vitality hit session before we finish we're going to have a fair few um people online i'll have myself jamie and a couple more members of the team and also vitality staff um, as well so please do join in next week um, for the last session of um 2020 before we move into 2021 and reach our goals in 2021 um, but yeah thanks so much lizzie thanks for um joining us today everyone and we shall see you again next week see you later thanks so much for joining me hope everybody has a wonderful festive season when it does arrive and see you all in 2021 See you later, Lizzie. Bye.